A very good morning all of you. Welcome all of you for the 8086 microprocessor lab. So in this lab session I am going to show you what are the different simulators available for us to simulate the assembly language program uh, which will be written for 8086 that means you can execute the instruction written for the 8086 microprocessor. Instead of doing it on a board, we can use the simulators to run the code and to see whether our code is working properly or not, our code is giving proper results or not. Okay, so this is what we are going to cover in today's lab session. So if you look at here, this is a typical 40 pin 8086 microprocessor. So we'll talk about the internal structure maybe in the next lab session. For as far as to today's lab session is concerned, we are going to see different emulators or simulators available for the 8086 microprocessor. If you look at here, there are three softwares available for us. One is EMU8086 as well as GNU8085 and MASM8086. So these are the three microprocessor softwares or emulators available for us to simulate. We are going to, I'm going to show you how to install and how to use these softwares in a moment. As far as this uh, course is concerned or this uh, channel is concerned, I am going to talk about only EMU8086 microprocessor emulator for all the programs. REST2 if you are interested you can go through the installation instruction you can also use those emulators. So the first one is a GNU8085 is an open source software. So the limitation is here is you can only execute 8-bit instructions like you can use only 8-bit data and this is a website where you can uh, download the software I'm going to show you in a moment. So this is a GNU8085 GNU SIM8085 simulator. So if you look at here it's clearly it's a simulator assembler debugger for the Intel 8085 microprocessor so you can go to downloads and you can downloads windows version and you can start using this particular software now come to the second simulator which i'm going to use in this particular course is emu80 so which is a 16-bit processor you can use 16-bit word length that means you can use 16-bit data and the last one is masm8086 so this is also a microprocessor simulator but you have to use a dos command prompt to run the instructions and to execute your code and all. So it is it's based on DOS box basically. So I'm going to show you all these uh, two software websites in a moment. So if you want to install MASM8086, you have to go to masm32.com. So this is a software page for MASM32. So where you can download your software and you can install and work on it. Okay, so this I'm not going to use for uh, this particular lab session. So I'm going to use for I'm going to use emulator 8086 that I'm going to show you in a moment. Now coming to the the emulator which I'm going to use the rest of the course is EMU8086. So you can go to this GitHub uh, page where you can download EMU8086. So you get 15 days trial version of this software and you can use it. I'm going to show you how to install and how to use and what are the documentation associated with this particular software. So I'm going to use this GitHub page. So this is a GitHub page for EMU8086. Of course, you can also get it other places. If you type in Google EMU8086, you get other, other places also where the software is available. So what you do is you can uh, go to code here and download is a zip. So your zip file will be downloaded. Once you download it, you can go to your downloads. You can go to downloads and you can see emu8086 then extract it once you extract it you are going to see a folder emu8086 master here you can see a list of uh, different folders here then you have to click on emu8086.exe so this will uh, install the software into your system so to confirm whether your software is installed or not what you can do is you can go to uh, my pc and go to c drive there you can see a folder created emu edges so that means your program is installed here now once your program is installed here you can you can go back to your uh, software folder yeah, now you can uh, run from here you can 
double click on it it will open the software your uh, microprocessor emulator software so don't check for update just skip this particular step and this is the welcome window which you are going to see for the em8086 microprocessor so start with new and select the com template this is a standard for the 8086 and this is a how you are going to see your window so if you look at here it's already has some default template so where your origin started 100h this is the starting address of your first instruction and this written will be end of your instruction code so if you want to start a new new program or new code you can click on new code so it will ask again com template then press ok again you get the default template here and if you want to see example files example programs you can just click on examples you will see different example programs you can click on it it will oh, it will load the particular file with all the instruction which is already written here you can execute it directly similarly you have different uh, programs which are already available for the user understanding so this is all about initial thing then if you want to understand more about the software what you can do is you can go to help and go to documentation there you can see different documentation available for us so in which the most important is 8086 instruction set so these are the instruction sets supported by this particular emulator okay a particular simulation so you can check you can click on any of the instruction it will give you what that particular instruction will does whether it's a comparative or jnc or jne whatever it is so you are going to use these instructions when we are writing the program for a particular maybe arranging a numbers in ascending order descending order or we can also have interrupts different interrupts available in this particular uh, software then we have a tutorials for each one like to understand different programs you can also have different uh, documentation here okay so this all about uh, documentation help which we are going to get it from this particular emulator now come back to your software here so once you start emulate it you are going to open another window here so in this window you are going to see all your registers you can see here your ax register value your bx register cx and dx register value so when you compile your code if the code has uh, any connection with these register these values can be changed suppose if you add two numbers the accumulate the ax register value will be changed if you look at here each register is 16 bit register you can see the four exam numbers are available that is uh, that means 16 bit registers ax bx cx and dx okay so this is for any arithmetic logical operation which involves you are going to see the results here and these are the instruction set in assembly code in machine language this is a equivalent code so for each one you can have equivalent code of machine code here this is assembly language and this is a machine code and if you want to simulate any virtual devices you can go to virtual device you can go to led display where you can you can you can write a program to simulate bc to 7 segment c display and similarly you can also go to step up motor where you can simulate the step up motor <coughs> or you can also go to traffic lights you can also simulate by writing a particular code for the traffic lights and you can also access the memory so this is a memory available with this particular emulator you can also access the memory locations you can like you can you can store some numbers you can recall those numbers in the program okay so these are the available options with us in this particular software so in the next lab session i'm going to show you basic arithmetic operations how to write a code how to compile it and how to execute and how to see the results whether you are getting the correct results or not so this is all for today's lab session. Thank you all.